Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially Modern Warfare Day. I've got the night vision goggles on, and I have been playing some Call of Duty. So if you want to come check out the live stream of me playing some Modern Warfare, it's the first link down in the description. I should be streaming pretty much all day, so if you're at all interested, check out that first link down below. But today, in this video... Okay, one sec. That is better. I also don't even know if I was centered in that frame that entire time. Uh, but today we are talking about camos everything camos We are looking at all the camos talking about how to get and earn all of the camos because it is a different in this game And what I mean by that is there are a hundred and three camos per Weapon and that's just a start. They might add more who the hell knows it's incredible the system that they've come up with here. I think it's amazing. I'm curious what you guys think about it. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Oh yeah, one more thing before we dive into the video. I almost forgot. I am going to be giving away a copy of Modern Warfare for whatever console you play on. All you have to do to win it is hit the like button on this video and leave a comment down in the comments saying what your favorite camo is that we look at today and on top of that, what console you are playing on. And just do those two things and you're automatically entered to win. In, and then I will pick a person at random and get in contact with you. So first things first, before we actually look at all of the individual hundred different camos, we first have to understand how to equip them and how to actually unlock them. So what you're going to want to do is go to edit loadouts, go to choose a specific weapon. So for example, here we got the Kilo 141 and then go over to gunsmith. Underneath gunsmith in the top left corner, you have two options, attachments and customize. Go over to customize. And then once again, you got a lot of options. So down on the bottom left, we've got camouflage, then reticle, charm, and stickers. I'm pretty sure charms and stickers are just going to be microtransactions or things you unlock via missions. Uh, but as of right now, I don't have any, so no point in showing you those. Camouflages, however, when you go to them, it appears as though there are only 11. So you can see here, you got spray paint, woodland, digital, dragon, splinter, tapa, tiger, stripes, reptile and finally skulls and then if you go down one more level you have your completionist camos which we'll get to in a second so first things first to unlock these individual uh camos you have to get your weapon to a certain level so you can see the first one is level two the second one is level 10 and then all the way up to skulls which is level 69 once you hit 69 you have all the different tiers unlocked and the reason why i say tiers is because each of these camos has 10 different camos underneath them so for example if i go to a weapon that i actually have these unlocked for you can see that when i go into the spray paint category there is 10 other camos underneath that category so once you hit weapon level two it unlocks these challenges and it just so happens that for the spray paint ones it's just simply getting kills now as i'm going to show you in a minute here each different tier has a different a challenge associated with it whether that's long shots headshots or just getting kills there's always that different challenge now there's also different numbers based off of what type of weapon you're using so for example for a sniper rifle to get the top tier of spray paint here you have to get 450 kills i believe for assault rifles it's around 800 kills moving on to the next set of camos we have the woodland camos now going through all of these i'm not going to read all the names to you you can just kind of check them out as we go through uh, but depending on the type of weapon the amount of headshots needed for the top tier changes so i believe for sniper rifles it was 60 at the top tier whereas assault rifles were around 150 headshots to get the top tier of the woodland camos the next set of camos is called digital camos and these ones are unlocked by getting kills while crouched and once again the numbers are different based off of what class of weapon you are using after that we got urban camos urban camos are interesting for a couple of reasons first of all they're probably some of the most bright and vibrant camos that there are as of right now at least uh, and on top of that for sniper rifles the way you get this is by getting one shot kills and obviously that doesn't work on assault rifles or smgs so if you're using those automatic type weapons the challenge actually changes and you have to get hip fire kills instead of one shot kills after this we have the splinter camos and i believe that this is the same on all weapons the way to get these ones is by getting kills with all of your attachment slots filled so if you're using any weapons they have to have five attachments on them and you're pretty much going to do that anyway once you have your weapon leveled up enough to have good enough attachments to fill up those slots so you'll get this one pretty naturally 
Moving on to the next one, the Topo Camos. These ones are for getting long shots, which once again is, I believe, the same on all weapons. And honestly, you don't need to get that many long shots. And I found that in this game, it was a lot easier to get long shots because of the ground war game mode. After this, we've got the Tiger Camos. And this one has some of the classic camos like Blue and Red Tiger from previous Modern Warfare games. Now, for this one, for the sniper rifles, this one is for getting kills while holding your breath. Obviously, there's going to be some weapons like like SMGs that you can't do that for. So actually, depending on the weapon, this challenge is simply going to be different. I've seen some that this one is you have to use all the attachments, and I've seen for this one, some of them, you have to use no attachments on your weapon. So this one's very dependent on what weapons you're using. Then we have the stripes camos, and the stripes camos actually are another one that have some really bright and vibrant camos. Bunch of different colors on these ones. I actually like a lot of these. And with these camos, the challenge for it is to get double kills. So once again, depending Depending on what type of weapon you're using, the amount of double kills is going to be different, but the challenge itself should actually be the same. The next one we're looking at here is reptile camos, and for this one, you're going to have to unlock them by getting kills while using no attachments on weapons. So for certain weapons, this is going to be a lot more difficult, like the Mark II uh, carbine or like the Car 98K that are snipers that don't actually have scopes built into them. Now after this, we have the skulls camo. So this is the last one you unlock, and this one, at least on the sniper rifles, is get three kills without dying. So basically go on a three kill streak which is actually relatively easy because in most call of duty games this challenge has been get bloodthirsties which is a five kill streak so kind of surprising there but after that you have completed all all of the weapon challenges, you then move on to the completionist camos. So what are completionist camos? Essentially, they are like gold, diamond, and dark matter from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, I don't think anyone as of right now has any of these, but I did talk to a developer and he told me what they are. They are gold, diamond, and something called Damascus. Now, if I'm being honest, I have no clue what this camo actually looks like, but if you actually go ahead and just Google Damascus, there's a lot of knives made out of it, and they kind of look like what you're seeing on screen here. Another type of popular Damascus is like a blue or like almost oil stained knife like we've seen in games like CSGO. So I also wouldn't be surprised if it looks a little bit more like that. But based off of all of the challenges we're seeing, it seems as though this is actually going to take a while for a lot of people to get, especially because you you have to level some of your weapons up to like level 80 to just unlock those final challenges so based off of everything i am seeing here with all of these camos this is by far the most amount of camo challenges we've ever had in a call of duty game but i also think it's going to take the longest and it's not because of the actual challenges themselves it's actually more because of how long it actually takes to level up the weapons because when some of the weapons have like 80 levels or 69 levels like we we're seeing with kilo 141 that takes time alone just to level up now i am working on crunching some numbers and figuring out the actual fastest way to level up weapons in this game because i feel like a lot of people are going to want to know that but i got to play the game a lot more to really figure that out and as soon as i do i will make a video talking about that for you guys of course so ladies and gentlemen that is every single camo within modern warfare and i'm curious what you guys think are these good? Are they bad? Also, what do you think of the new system as to get these camos? Before, it was a lot more based off of simply just getting headshots, and then they gave you a few challenges after you got those headshots. Whereas this one is... You level up your weapon a whole bunch, and then they give you challenges based off of that. There's a lot more kills that are long shots, a lot more kills that are kill a bunch of enemies while using a bunch of different attachments. It seems to be more based off of trying to change your play style, whereas before it was just headshot, headshot, headshot. So I'm curious, what do you think is better? Do you like the headshot challenges, or do you like the other challenges like they implemented here? Also, what do you think of the camos? What's your favorite one? Let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Also, of course, if you you enjoyed the video it is always appreciated if you hit that like button and like i said before if you want to win a copy of modern warfare the way to do so is make sure you hit that like button then comment down in the comments what your favorite camo is and what console you are playing on or on pc if you want that too but guys 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, we've got a lot more Modern Warfare content coming. So if you want to stay up to date on that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications turned on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Listen.